Hello, my name is Punit Bhatia and in this video I am going to share with you what is a GDPR data processor, what is a GDPR data controller and why does these two roles matter. Now before we start, I like to ask for a quick help. Please do click like, do comment and do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that we can notify you about these videos. Now for those of you who do not know me, my name is Punit Bhatia, I am the founder and CEO of company Fit for Privacy. We help you with creation and implementation of a privacy strategy. That means we help you with setup, definition of program and its implementation along with scenario based trainings for your staff. In short, we help you create a culture of privacy. How? Maybe I can share more towards end of this video, but coming back to the topic of the video. So what is a GDPR data processor? If your company is processing personal data and it is doing so based on a contract, based on an obligation from another company, that means you process personal data as per a contract, then your company is a processor. Another way of looking at it is if your company is processing personal data but it does not decide on what to do or what data to collect but it is getting from somebody and doing on their behalf for example a company in india or philippines or china they are managing billing system so they process the collected data on behalf of the company which has outsourced and do whatever is asked in terms of performing the billing so they are a gdpr processor on the contrary, what is a GDPR controller? GDPR controller is a company that decides what personal data to collect and what to do with it. If your company is deciding on those two matters, what to collect and what to do with it, your company is a GDPR controller. Take an example. You are a mobile telephony provider in Europe. So you naturally decide who are your customers you decide about your customers you will collect their name email maybe their billing details maybe their direct debit details payment details and so on so you're deciding that and then you decide to service them you decide to send them sms's you decide to bill that is perform the billing activity you are deciding all this that means your company say abc mobile telephony provider is a gdpr controller but on the other hand, for billing services or IT services, you may choose a service provider and ask them to perform that activity from Poland or India or Philippines. And they will do exactly what you tell them in the contract. So the company XYZ whom you have hired is a GDPR processor. Sometimes in the US language, we say data exporter and data importer. But in GDPR terms, data controller or GDPR controller or data processor or GDPR processor. Remember that it is possible to have a sub processor so the company XYZ which you hired in Poland, India or Philippines. If it hires another company to do part of the activities then it is a sub processor. Same way you can also have a co-controller or a joint controller. So remember controller and processor can have variations but why does it matter why do all these things matter why do you need to know whether your company is a gdpr controller or a processor well it is important because it determines the obligations which your company has what do i mean by obligation like as per eu gdpr a company must perform data protection impact assessment dpia well if you are a controller it is your obligation if you are a processor you only support the company in performing the DPI. So DPI is not your direct responsibility. Same way, if there happens a personal data breach on the systems or on the data you are processing, if you are a controller, it is your obligation to decide and notify the authorities or even individuals if necessary. But if you are a processor on the other hand, then your obligation is as per the contract that has been signed. And in that contract, if Mostly it's written that you notify the DPO or the controller organization. So your obligation is to notify the controller, not the data protection authority. That's how your obligations change based on your role. It is important to understand that the role has consequences. So do not become a controller if you are not 
but based on are you processing personal data and are you deciding on what is done with that personal data ask those two questions if answer to any one of these is yes you are a data controller another important thing is this matters when data is being exchanged between two companies so when one company is hiring another company for performance of some task this matters and it also matters in defining the obligations and responsibilities of the other companies so it's important to choose the right role when you're signing contracts and in context of data transfers it becomes even more complicated in short does your company decide on what personal data to collect and does your company decide what to do with that personal data if either of the answer is yes yes you are a controller otherwise you are a gdpr or data processor so that's as simple as that and as i said please choose whether you are a controller or processor wisely because it has an impact on the obligations you will have ideally when you're signing a contract please do include and involve your legal counsel and a privacy expert and if you need help do not hesitate to contact us now at the start of the video i said we help you to create a culture of privacy how do we do it so if you are a ciso or a security director who has been assigned the responsibility of privacy and is looking to set up a program assess the situation manage and mitigate the risks then we can help you do that and on the other end if you are a dpo or a chief privacy officer who has completed a privacy program and you are looking to further your maturity we help you with conducting a privacy culture assessment or a privacy maturity assessment which allows you to find how do you improve the maturity of your company and also we help you with creation of or conducting scenario based trainings for your staff because generic training it does not work for everyone and last but not the least if you are somewhere in the middle you are a dpo you have been busy with the privacy project or program and you have audit actions we can help you manage those risks mitigate those risks create an action plan manage that action plan and work with you either as part of your team or as an advisor whichever way you choose yes we can help you and if you need help do not hesitate to contact us at hello at fitforprivacy.com and one of my team members would be happy to assist you i hope you find this video useful and if yes please do share it with a friend because we like to reach more people through you with that thank you so much for watching this video till next time stay safe keep protecting data and what see you in the next video